everyone. We are, <clears throat> sorry, we are real cool. And individually, we are Kathy Liu, Steve Spellman, Daniel Murnick, and Christina Colon. We made a video editing app for the browser. Our goal was to make an Instagram for video editing. So even if you don't know anything about making movies, you can still make a cool movie super easy. And you don't need a powerful computer to do it. You can do all the editing and previewing in real time in the browser. Real Cool has an intuitive left to right workflow where on the left you can click add videos and upload files from your computer or from your phone and they're immediately embedded in the page so you can start to work with them right away. We use the media source API and the file reader API from the browser to make that possible. And you can also add m music to be the soundtrack of your video. Now Steve's going to talk about editing. Thank you, Kathy. So now that we have some videos to work with, we're going to bring them into our studio so that we can edit them. We can s edit the start time and the end time. We can apply filters. And a quick note about the filters, uh, we wanted to be able to apply them real time, obviously. And so we originally considered doing this using a canvas. And the canvas would have captured the video's image data frame by frame, manipulated it, and then displayed it, which, as you can imagine, might not be the most performant. So we ended up using CSS3 filters, which were a lot more performant and uh, easy to work with. Um, so when you, now when you have the cut the way you want it, you can send it to the third portion of our app called the reel. The reel uh, contains all the cuts you've made so far. And then from top to bottom is a visual representation of what your final product will look like. Um, and then when you are ready, you can preview your video. And I will show, let Dan talk about that a little more. Thanks, Steve. So for the preview, we tried first to encode the video directly in the browser, but we experienced low performance, low quality, and issues merging audio tracks into our videos. So instead, we were using the video elements we already had. The HTML5 video API allowed us to control which portion of each track we wanted to show, and our app was controlling the whole sequence. So when you watched the preview and you're happy with your masterpiece, you can... Uh, download a copy of the video, or share it with the world. When you request a download, we only, only send a small set of instructions to the server, uh, including the IDs of the media files, uh, the start and end times, and the filters to use. On the server, this information is used to create with FFmpeg uh, the final video. More about this from Christina. Thank you, Daniel. Our downloaded movie is back, so let's watch it. This video looks exactly like the preview that you just saw, even though it was made in a completely different way. This one is an actual MP4 file that was encoded with FFmpeg, while the preview was an illusion made with pure trickery. That's the technical term. And all we had to do was very carefully calibrate the filters on both sides so that they matched up, and that way you can't even tell the difference. So finally, if editing each clip individually sounds like too much of a hassle, you will like this feature. It allows you to, with the click of a button, generate a themed montage of your videos set to music. Here we've selected Adventure, which is my favorite. And it should be noted that this feature was really easy to implement because it just leverages a lot of mechanics that were already in place throughout our app, but it made a big difference to make because it's fun for our users. It's super easy. Thank you, we are real cool. <laughs>